okay so we've got a um, basic flight plan set for this afternoon our afternoon flight will be flying through to Tamworth so this is a PFPX document that I've created for this afternoon's flight um, and we'll be going through this um, and setting up according to this paperwork prior to us and leaving so let's get to it A320. We have a small aircraft in front of us. There's the um, stack at Kernel. There's a little bird who's just taken off. here just turning onto the runway this is the docks long way up to 34 left that's for sure so uh, just check all our um, instruments are set correctly we're now sitting at the end of the threshold waiting to go and we'll just do our before takeoff checklist. Um, so, attendant notification, bing bong, uh, transponder is set. Just checking the TCAS is on. It definitely is. We'll do our test, test with our fire handles. Yep, and test with the Fire alarm for the cargo bay. So, um, transponders on, our packs are set, bleeds are right, APU is off, and our recall is zero. We're now configured correctly for takeoff, so get rid of that and let's move on to the strip. Ready to go. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, three, four left. There's Sydney. And let's give her the gun. Three, four, left. Okay, we have 40%. And Toga. Rotate. Positive rate, gear up. And flaps to two. And let's go over to Elna Vnav. Why won't she select? Probably because I'm not on the path. Okay, he'll have Vino selected. We're off to Tamworth. So let's go through and do a after takeoff checklist. So pressurization is set. Our start switches should be set back to off. 
APU is off and our flap should be up, no greens. And we have exactly that. See the auto throttle go on there. Get rid of some light here. Sorry, the clumsy fool dropped it. Okay, landing gear to off. RDO to zero. We've got a nice steady climb going on at 10 degrees. We're up to 8,500 feet already. And we will be turning left at Richmond very shortly. In about 18 miles. You can see our we're out of west of Sydney here. That's all our radio stack. So if we go back to our legs, we can see that Richmond is coming up in 13 nautical miles. And you can see that on the PFD. We'll be doing a right hand turn. It's about uh, 325 degrees. Try 302. It doesn't seem right. Oh, that's our current heading. Um, and then the heading after that will be 153. Sorry. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, so we're at 13,500 feet. I've no idea what that is down there. Some sort of. Um, water treatment plant or is it a river? I think it's a river. Getting a bit hazy on the right hand side. Okay, I might turn off until we get uh, a little closer to town. I just now. remembered the thing I didn't remember to do was set up our um, weights because this was a very light flight in actual fact um, we only had five people on board so we should have had zero in the row there zero in the row there uh, and zero in the row there and a mere 700 kilos all together which would have been about five six seven people maybe six people um, and our cargo wasn't very much either, so I think we had 550. So, oh, let's make that um, 250 in the front cargo and 250 in the rear. And our fuel was correct. probably made a huge difference to the actual operation of the aircraft. Uh, here we are in our bank. We're banking off to 153, is it? No, try 353. approaching 22,000 feet now and we're 143 miles from Tamworth now we don't have a staff at Tamworth so we'll be doing a manual um, 
descent and um, you can see we've only got a short while till we're on top of climb. Once I get up to 26,000 feet, we'll probably fly for about, oh there's our top of descent there. So we're probably going to be flying for about 20 miles before we hit our top of descent and then we'll, de we'll be descending, but we'll do it manually. It's a bit hazy out there today. Probably all the flight fires from Tasmania. <laughs> okay, I'll be back when we're um, we're in our descent phase. Just want to show a little um, secret that I picked up on the angle of attack site, and that was these uh, use of fixes. Um, they're little um, reminders, if you like, and you can use them um, from a point from any waypoint. So what I've done is I've picked our um, Tamworth point here and I've put a couple of fixes, I'll put three fixes in actually, I'll put a 20 mile fix which is our first one here, a 50 mile fix and then a 100 mile fix. And what that means is at 100 miles out from Tamworth um, this green point will come up and we're coming up on it very shortly and I figure that at our height 26,000 and your rule of thumb is three by so um, three times 26 about 70 miles so we should be gearing up to um, start descending there anyway and that's pretty correct too and then our 50 miles we should be um, uh, about halfway down so if we're at 26 we should be down around about 13,000 when we hit that 50 mile mark and then um, about 20 miles out I would like to be getting close to um, uh, Two to three thousand feet for our landing. So we've still got uh, 110 nautical miles. So uh, once we get a bit closer, I'll I have just initiated descent. Um, we've just hit our um, top of descent marker. So I'm going to go through now and um, do a uh, descent checklist. And um, I've also set up our vertical speed to 2,000 feet a minute and you'll notice that that coincides with the inner marker which is around about 50 miles. So uh, looking at a descent checklist, altimeters and bugs, our altimeters are set correctly until we get to 10,000 feet and bugs are correct. Um, our VREF and target, so we need to go to our menu, put in a VREF so hit the approach. Uh, Tamworth's not a very long strip, so we might go for about 30 degrees of flaps at 140. So that now comes up on our PFD. So um, our VREF set. Uh, packs are right, start switches are as required, so they should be go ba going back to continuous. And recall again, nothing on the recall. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, when we get down to um, 50 miles out, I'll come back again and we'll do another little catch up. Okay, so we're just coming up um, on our 20 a 50 mile marker now and what I'm going to do I'm going to go off uh, LNAV and we're going to go over to a heading and our heading is preset to the um, end of the um, 10 mile final for Tamworth so you can see the aircraft is now banking over to that 10 mile final and um, And also have it set in for roundabout, oh not roundabout, but 3,000 feet. So by the time we get down to that marker there, you can see where we're going to hit the, the 3,000 feet right here. Remembering of course that we don't have any stars for um, Tamworth. And we're only something like 49 miles away so Tamworth must be just after those mountains over there. I think you can just barely make out the um, airport from here. It's pretty hard. 
So again, once we get down to our 3,000, um, I'll be coming back and we'll be doing a uh, probably a landing checklist by then. So we haven't quite made our uh, 20 mile marker yet, but I just want to show you how realistic it is coming down through these beautiful mountains. The other one I'm really looking forward to is the mountains in um, Tasmania. Um, I've done a flight from Sydney to Tassie and as you came down over St Helens there, oh, unbelievable, the textures and all the rest of it, just magic. But you can see out here, this is pretty gorgeous too. Now Tamworth isn't that far away, I think we're looking at it just over there. As you can see on the PFD, we're um, not that far away from the final here. 10 mile final. We do have to be a bit careful without dropping our um, in actual fact I'll go over to our vertical situation display and already it's showing us that we've got a bit of a problem here with our descent. We're going to have to um, take this up a little bit maybe to 4500 and now we're clearing those mountains. Geez, that could have been a bit embarrassing. Didn't realize how high those mountains were. That range there is pretty high. We look like we're um, just about at the same height as those mountains. The ones over here were not far off either. But this is the ones we've got to clear right in front of us. And as you can see, we're gonna be over the top of them now. Right, and kept going, we might have been in a bit of strife. So what's going to happen is this yeah, this is also going to be a bit difficult because I'm going to try and keep the video rolling while we're landing. And it's going to be a manual landing because we don't have a ILS. So this could be tricky. But I can see that the um, terrain has dropped now. So we can probably uh, afford to go down to our 3000 now. dry out here isn't it just like the real thing okay let's drop the speed a bit I'm going to drop it back to about 200 and uh, once we get down to there or 240 just the limit I'm going to drop a degree of flaps Tamworth must be just over there somewhere it's a wonder we haven't seen the lights yet Okay, we're down to 235, so we can have a degree of flaps now. We've got one degree of flaps. done our landing checklist I've um, set the auto brake to two because it's a very short strip uh, I've already set my I've armed my um, speed brake and um, as I said we already got two degrees of flaps going on here uh, my, no the speed's fine Turning on to that 10 mile final in about uh, 10 miles, I think it is. 10 mile final in 10 miles. Still cannot see the um, strip though. Alright, now we've got a problem with elevation here. We are very low. Still 
do not see that airport. Love those Orbix 3D trees, they look fabulous. different 950 I'm going to drop the speed right down, about 150. Take a few degrees of flex here, and um, our reference was 30 degrees at 140. Was that right? Okay, it's telling me my undercarriage is not down, which it is now. Heading's just a little bit out, so I'll straighten her up a bit. Both spot on. I have coming down to 30 degrees of flaps and I'm going to knock that down to 140 so we're all good there and I'm going to actually turn off of that I'll keep the speed on setting because both the Q and H's are right and they're both the same. Too high, too high. Well it's a bit hard lady I don't have a uh, glide slope to go off. same time. Four, three, approaching minimums. Two, yes, we are going to land, but I'm going to have to put the um, Have 
have some reverse flat, uh, reverse thrust. So there people, I uh, actually can land this thing. I have missed out on the landings quite a bit. Now that is a real shame that I didn't load the Tamworth um, Orbic scenery, that would have been magnificent. Wow, two little light strips. Oh. Uh, we're a bit up the creek here because I um, don't really have a spot to park. So I'm going to have to put it at the back of these birds here because I know they don't move. Okay, parking brake set, and it's clean up time. Zero, zero, and zero, and zero, and um, it's all correct. So shut down our second engine. Close down our first engine and then go to the overhead and shut it all down. And that's about it, folks. Sydney Tamworth.